Hey everyone, after a much too long and unexpected break, I'm back and ready to talk some games. Today, we're going to be talking about what is basically Sweeney Todd the game. Only instead of the demon barber of Fleet Street, you play as the demon tailor of Fleet Street. I'm pretty excited, so let's jump right in. Today, we are talking about Ravenous Devils. <laughs> Ravenous Devils is a horror cooking simulator where the secret ingredient is crime. Improve your shops, buy new tools, expand your menu, and above all, make your customers happy. Ravenous Devils was developed and published by Bad Vice Games and released on April 29, 2022. It's available for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch for only $4.99 US dollars. While the game is a short one, and I was able to complete it in about 5 hours, I think it's well worth its asking price for what you're getting here. This game has a lot of charm to it, and definitely some replay value. If you're a horror fan that likes time management games or cooking simulators, I think it's pretty safe to say you're going to enjoy this one. As a lover of all things horror and a huge fan of Sweeney Todd, I know I did. But let's go a little more in depth so you can decide if Ravenous Devils is right for you. The story is a familiar one and fans of the musical will find a lot to love here. But this retelling of the story is of course a little bit different. I found it pretty enjoyable to get a little bit of a new take on an older tale. You'll play as Percival and his wife Hildred who just purchased a four story property from a well known barber who you may or may not have heard of. Hildred runs the pub in the kitchen while Percival runs the tailor shop and the garden upstairs. Together they decide that times is hard and the price of meat is just too high, but their clients, they can help with that. Visually, I love what they've done with the artwork here. The voice acting, music, and sound effects all do an absolutely amazing job at setting the tone of this game. The environments are really well crafted and have a ton of close attention to detail. I really enjoyed the way this game was designed and the way that the gameplay works. The gameplay loop is absolutely easy to learn, but it can be difficult to master. To put it simply, it goes like this. Percival murders a client, steals their clothes, and throws his body down to Hildred. Hildred will then take said body, process it into meat, and use it to cook some recipes. And I think my favorite thing about this game, in addition to its addicting gameplay loop, is just how well done the animations are. Not only are they well done, but they are gruesome. And they just tend to get more and more gruesome the more you go. I think it's freaking awesome. You'll start with simple recipes that will get more complex as you progress. You'll have to collect all the ingredients you need, put it on a cooking tray, and then pop that into the oven. After some time, your food will be cooked and ready to serve in the pub upstairs. With Hildred's job complete, Percival also has to make sure that his area is clean before the next client comes in as well as make sure he's got clothes on the mannequins for clients to purchase. Once the work on both sides is completed, you're ready to open the shop for the day. You'll start off small and fairly simple, but it definitely gets harder as you go. As you sell your items, both food and clothing, you'll earn money, which you can use to buy upgrades for all of your areas. And while these upgrades allow you to do more, they also tend to increase the difficulty. But in my opinion, that's when the game starts to get really fun. And the gruesome animations do not disappoint. I certainly was not expecting this game to be this gruesome when I first saw it. And I was so impressed. I felt like it just kept getting better and better. But moving on. There are quite a few upgrades for all the different areas. There are equipment upgrades, there's recipe upgrades, and more. The game also has different skins you can purchase for your characters, which I really thought was a nice touch. After a few upgrades have been purchased and the game's flow really gets going, it's challenging, but not too challenging, addictive, and entertaining. Ravenous Devils does a great job at setting the mood and delivering its story through a mix of well-done in-game cutscenes, artful animatics, 
and letters that your character receives in the mail as the game progresses. I wasn't expecting much effort to be put into the story if I'm honest, and I have really enjoyed these small details. Though it's short, I could definitely see myself going back to it to play for a second time, and I would say 100% absolutely worth the $5. If you're still not sure, Steam has a demo you can check out for free. Oh, and one last thing. My one complaint about this game would have been I could not figure out how to get eggs for the longest time. Helpful hint for anyone that plays, you have to give them fertilizer. Yes, feed the birds the same fertilizer that you're putting on all your plants, and then you will have eggs. I for one was super confused by that. I really hope that helps somebody out if they decide to check out Ravenous Devils. There's a lot more to explore in this game and some hidden secrets that I didn't want to spoil for you. I think Ravenous Devils is a really well done game and a definite win for horror fans. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope you'll come back to join me in the future where we're going to talk about Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song, a new co-op card battler, and a fantasy themed farming sim with magic, dragons, and more. Thanks so much for watching. Questions, comments, concerns, funny jokes, please leave it in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank <laughs> you.